everyone, this is Visual 15, welcome to my first, well, kind of first episode of, uh, Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, I did record this thing, uh, earlier, but I, uh, eventually had to take it down, and, uh, luckily for me, the, uh, actual laws and stuff had changed, so, um, this should not, uh, be forced to be taken down or anything, um. Um, yeah, um, actually, I'm playing from the original CD here, um, I know they have a download, uh, on, uh, um, the PlayStation Network for Castlevania Symphony of Night, but, uh, this is, uh, from the actual CD, <coughs> and for being, like, uh, 14 years old or whatever, um, this looks really great, so I, w I was uh, surprised when I actually decided to do this. Um, that it looks so well. Um, right now, I'm not going uh, from my notes or anything. I'm just uh, going to be playing this uh, from my memory and stuff of the game. Uh, of course, I did not play it uh, not too long ago, so... Um, so... Um, I wouldn't say that this is a blind run, um, this is a more, um, without glasses run, that kind of thing, so, um, I won't, uh, have, uh, <coughs> uh could I edit out that cough, um, I won't exactly, uh, know everything that I'm supposed to know, at least I don't think so, um, as I'm playing, um, but I, I hopefully will, uh, know enough, so, because a few things definitely stick out in my head, so, um, uh, let's see, um, <coughs> this is a digital-only controller, um, game, um, you can, uh, switch it here in, uh, the PlayStation options, uh, for PlayStation 1 games, um, like, uh, with the controller settings here, um, you could, uh, set it to, uh, analog only, um, but, um, your analog buttons still won't work, so, uh, just gotta stick with the, uh, actual digital for this game, so, um, won't have to go in here with, uh, any other settings, so, let's, uh, let's check. Yeah. Well, actually, I never tried with, uh, smoothing on. Uh, let's, uh, see how that looks. Um, if, uh, the smoothing here, um, if it basically sucks, um, I think I will, uh, just go back to, uh, the regular one, so. Because, uh, that looked pretty good, so. Oh, not bad. Uh, seems to uh, improved a little bit, so. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I've, uh, also been playing, uh, Suikoden, um, or Suikoden, or whatever, um, eventually I think I might do an LP on that, but, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, be sticking with, um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night for, uh, for right now, so. And we'll call, uh, my guy Alucard. I think, um, there is a cheat that you can do where, uh, you can name him, like, a Y-77, uh, or, or something like that, um, uh, to get the cheat going, but I'm not going to be, uh, playing with a cheat at all, so. Well, as far as I know, I'm not going to be, uh, doing with any cheat, so. Just want to make sure that I was at uh, 
spelling it right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know, I, I just saw that. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Um, just had to make a little bit of change there, so. And for those of you who do not know, um, Alucard is uh, Dracula backwards, so. And this right here, this is probably the best improvement that it had out uh, going from the original PlayStation up to the PlayStation 3, so. Because it got really upconverted very well, so. And I know that this looks really dated, especially to, uh, to you younger people, but you gotta remember, um, Back in 1997, these were cutting-edge graphics, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I really dated myself there, but... Can mess around with the uh, loading screen symbol there. So, yeah, this is the last stage of Bloodlines. Um, I think this was the one for. Uh, um, it was either the Sega Genesis or Sega Saturn or whatever. But um, we can uh, rip around with uh, with Rector here. Um, if we hold down the. Uh, Square button, uh, we can mess around with the whip. Um, play it all about and stuff. Um, we're, uh, we're really not going to be using uh, Richter here throughout the game. Um, there is a way to get it so that you can uh, play the entire game with, uh, with Richter, but um, you have to go through uh, the entire game uh, first and uh, get the uh, actual best ending and. Uh, I think you have to uh, rename him like uh, Richter or whatever, so when you start a new game uh, on the same save file. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that because, uh, as you can see, um, he does not uh, jump very well and uh, we really can't do, uh, do much with him, so. So. Pick up the cross here. Um, the cross for um, both um, Richter and for Alucard is that uh, is different as are all of the uh, secondary weapons that we could get. <coughs> um, but if we mess around with him, we can get a uh, staircase back up. No, it's not. Oh, there it is. Um, just jumping, we can't get to it, uh, but there is a way to get him to do kind of a sure you can move where uh, he'll basically fly uh, all the way up to the ceiling with that. With kind of a um, dragon punch, and uh, that's basically how we get up there. Um, uh, there's really nothing up there for us, though, so. Okay, now be ready for the best dialogue uh, <laughs> in any game. Um, I'd say the only uh, actual game with that, with better dialogue overall, um, is probably uh, the first Resident Evil when uh, Barry Burton actually talks. Um, he is just so awesome, so. At least in my opinion, so. Don't. 
die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? That is just awesome. <laughs> Well, if we would have uh, been able to do this without uh, actually taking any damage, um, it would have uh, actually increased our stats a little bit, but, um... Uh, that's really okay, because I kind of wanted to show this thing off, too, so... Because you cannot die in this battle. It is impossible. And uh, once he uh, gets down to about half life, um, he will uh, actually change forms for us. So. And now we are invincible. The uh, boomerang would hit him twice, but I guess it only gives him once. Here. Once he uh, changes to his uh, second form, um, he is really easy. Where was that? Down to a second form here, so. Wish I could uh, get more than one hit off, but. Okay. When he changes that uh, to the uh, second form here, just uh, stay in one place and uh, whip around, and you'll uh, be doing no problem, so. 